I'm Lady Aska and today I want to talk about hair. This tutorial should help beginners to understand the sliders better when it comes to custom hairstyles in Vroid Studio. So we will look at some of them and their functionalities today. We start with the blank model and create a new custom hairstyle. Here we want to look first at the procedural group. This adds a set of hair already and works a bit different than the single freehand guide. Our texture parameters on the right refer only to the textures. So width will not alter the width of the hair, but rather the spread of the texture on said hair. Highlight position is pretty self-explanatory, as it will shift the highlight around. With the offset option, you can basically move the texture around the hair, which I will show better on the single hair strands later. Now onto the actual hair parameters. With ratio, we'll actually widen the strands more or less, and thickness ratio will make them thicker, so they will be flat on the head or look fuller. Twist intensity will twirl the hair, and twist placement will decide where the twist stays. So you could put twist at the top of your hair strands or at the bottom. Smoothness and also thickness can reduce or increase the polygon count. Thinner lines will usually have more polygons, while thicker lines have less. But can look rougher, so always strive for a kind of balance between these two. Now we come to the shape of the hair within themselves. Vroid offers here a few options. The first one is the diamond cross section, as you can see here. The core of the hair has a diamond shape. With the triangle shape, the bottom part is basically cut off and we get a triangle cross section. While the bottomless triangle removes even the filler within the triangle and creates overall a flatter shape, which is then only topped by the flat option, which turns the hair strands just flat. You may also see the curve option below that, which lets you choose between fluffy or straight and affects the curve below. Fluffy makes the hair start wider at the top and gets more narrow at the bottom. But we can manually change that, of course. I will show some better examples of that later. Next up, we have the guide parameter, which affects the hair guides or the green net hair mesh directly. With height, we can change the length of the net. Offset moves the net higher up from the top part and fit to head takes the net closer or further away from the face. In procedural parameters, we can adjust the hair group itself, instead of just the strands individually. That includes, again, the length, position and also the interval of the strands themselves. Another interesting option here is also the hairline option, as it reduces or increases the hairline, making the strands basically split up or stay together in the middle. There are a few more options than that here, but I felt for a basic introduction, these are the most used ones. Now let's move on to the freehand group, which lets you create one hair strand at a time. Before even doing so, let's take a quick look at the altering options we still have here. If you select the arrow option above, you can now alter the hair mesh. Using the options below let you also move the whole thing around, making it easier to create certain looks. The next option contains a rotation tool, which should be used carefully, because this will mess up how the mirror option works. And last but not least, we got the resize option, which, as the name suggests, resizes the net accordingly. Now let's quickly add a new material to show some of the edits a bit better. With that out of the way, I want to quickly showcase the control points, which can alter the shape and flow of your hair as well. Now we have here similar options to the procedural options before. With the width, we stretch the texture over the hair and highlight position adjust where the highlight is placed again. But now we can see the offset function a bit better, where we see how we can wrap and move the texture around on our hair strand, to adjust for example where the blue part should be located. Under hair parameters, we can adjust the position of our single hair strand again, and with width and thickness alter the size and thickness of the hair. Remember again that the sliders are just guidelines. You could go completely crazy with that and put your own custom numbers in to get some really crazy results. The twist options behave again the same as on the procedural hair and so on. Let me now show you a bit more in depth what can be done with the curve at the bottom. If the line is down, that means the strand will go narrower. If it's pointed upwards, wider. 
and by clicking on the line itself you can add more points to manipulate this outcome as well. One thing that I also want to mention is that you can shape your hair to an extent with the textures as well. Let me show you. And with that, we end our hair beginner tutorial for today. I hope you found it useful. See you guys next time. Hope you have a wonderful day.